I just have an EQ that cuts out um, a bunch of the low and a little bit of the highs. Now I right clicked on here and just clicked create automation clip. And then it showed up over here. Um, I don't need this one because this is the one that's doing it. But then just for the intro, you can have it so that the sample is unfiltered. All right. We got a bunch more samples. So I see what we want to use next. Mm, I might just go through, like, not in order, because some of them I really don't like, but I'm not going to be too picky, because I really do feel like I'm going to make a bunch of beats tonight. I might as well use a bunch of these. I've been fucking with, like, 120 BPM lately. Yeah, bro, we should do a Discord cookout with, um... Like, Nick, we can do one together, and then you and DT should do one, too. Or we could all do one. It's a good idea. the second bass note so i'm just eq the low end out and then i'll do new notes with the 808 figure out 808 notes.
I want it to go here. So I have some theorem shit I want to add. There's a Malachi lead. Um, I forget which one it is. I think it was in this bank, actually. After this, yeah, it's this one. This one is so good for like slow, spacey beats. I realized I have so many targeted beats, but um, I don't have that many just like random weird ones. So, you know, might as well stock up on those because some are just like those.
That's kind of hard. collab probably mm. I mean getting some shit with Cardi would be cool um I want to work with Hans Zimmer that on some film shit mm. there are a lot of artists I want to work with but I feel like it's also like shit just happens when like when it's supposed to like even though there are a bunch of like super big artists where I'm like, damn, bro, I want to work with them. Like, it's it's fine for that to happen with time. Like, it doesn't all have to be instant. <laughs> 